John 14.28 Ekusate hati ego epan humin hupago kai erkamai pras humas. E egapate me ekareta an hati paruamai pras ton patera hati ha pater medzon mu esten. Here Jesus says to his disciples, notice addressing them as a plural group here, you all heard that I said to you all, you heard that I said to you all, I am going away and I am coming to you all. And within the context, this Erkamai would seem to be near future. So it's often translated as a future. So I'm going away and I will come, implied again, to you all. And then we have the second class conditional sentence. So we have an A in the first part and an on in the second part, a contrary to fact sentence. If you all loved me, notice the second person plural, if you all loved me, you would have rejoiced that I am going to the Father. Right? They, they did not really fully with understanding love him in the way that he is speaking of. They didn't have that. They didn't have a real clear understanding and commitment to the fullness of who he was. If you all really loved me with understanding implied, I'm providing some paraphrastic commentary there, you would have rejoiced. This ekarita is from Cairo. And it's if you look in a good lexicon like BDAG, it will list at the beginning of Cairo, beginning of the entry, the irregular aorist passive form ekarain. Ekarain, ace, a, amen, a to asan, right? It's a second person plural. So in form, this is an aorist passive indicative, second person plural but probably should be understood as a medial passive. It's conveying a middle idea with passive endings. And we're doing it contrary to fact because the A and the on. If you all loved me, if you really loved me, you would have rejoiced because I'm going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. There's that genitive of comparison. Of course, throughout the Gospel of John, the ontological uh, equality, the, uh, the the full deity of Christ is clearly taught, the full ontological um, equality of Father and Son, but the, the, the gospel also teaches that the Father sends the Son, and the, the, the Son obeys the Father. And so most commentators, you can read the commentaries to read more about this, but understand this is a reference to the functional subordination of the Son uh, of course, not in any way denying his full deity or ontological equality with the Father.